Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing everything we are expecting from the GTA 6 reveal later this year. Ranging from what we expect the teaser trailer to contain, when we are expecting to see it, and also if Rockstar is going to be attending any type of gaming events to reveal GTA 6. If you haven't yet heard, we did receive some very trustable information that Rockstar is planning to reveal GTA 6 later this year, and this actually was indirectly confirmed by Rockstar's parent company Take-Two Interactive, so things are looking really really good for GTA 6 right now, and this video is going to be your one-stop shop for everything you need to know at the moment about the GTA 6 reveal later this year, and everything we know about it so far. Now we got a ton of really exciting information to discuss today, but before we get into that, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to share your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shoutout of the day, and right fast went to the actual video. So today's shoutout goes to a really awesome shop on Etsy known as Saf715 Shop. Now they have all sorts of incredible digital products, ranging from printable wall art, ebooks for kids, and also other specialties such as calendars and more. Best of all, all of the products on their shop are under $5. Valentine's Day is just around the corner and they have all sorts of digital art that is available for instant download that you can use in your gift for your partner. Make sure to click the first link in the description down below to check out their shop on Etsy today to see all of the amazing products that they are offering and also make sure to check out their brand new Valentine's Day e-card that you can buy instantly for a digital download that contains a beautiful design that your partner is certainly going to love. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So for those that aren't yet aware of the situation, let me go ahead and catch you quickly up to speed. Now, a few weeks ago, we did learn from Rockstar Games and their parent company Take-Two Interactive that they are expecting a major increase in revenue sometime in 2024, and usually whenever Rockstar says this, this means that a new game is releasing. Back when Rockstar said this in 2011, in 2013, a couple of years later, GTA 5 was finally released. And that is exactly what we're expecting to happen again in this case. So based on what Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive have told us so far, the release of GTA 6 is expected to be in 2024, but the reveal of the game is actually going to be later this year in 2022. Now once this news did come out and started circulating around the community, many people have been asking when Rockstar will be revealing GTA 6 this year and whether they're going to be doing it at an event such as E3 or something else. Now while we do not have official confirmation from Rockstar so far, we can go ahead and judge by their past actions and based on what Rockstar has done in the past, we can almost certainly confirm that the announcement of GTA 6 is not going to be planned in advance at an event, and instead it will be 100% online via their social media and website. This is what Rockstar has done in the past for games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and also GTA 5, and I don't see this changing anytime soon. Now by doing the announcement on Rockstar's website and without going to an event, they actually give themselves a number of benefits which are really important. Number one is that they are able to work on their own schedule. They do not need to put together a trailer for the event and if the trailer is late, they can simply just delay the announcement. And on top of that, they don't need to worry about any kind of fancy sets or anything along those lines. They simply need to make a nice trailer video post it to YouTube, post a little blog post, and that is pretty much it. So any kind of rumors saying that GTA 6 will be revealed at E3 or some kind of other event such as the PlayStation event are probably incorrect based on what we have seen in the past. It is a possibility after all because everything is a possibility. However, based on what we have been seeing in the past from Rockstar, it is likely going to be just a random day whenever they want to reveal it, and we're probably not going to know that date much in advance. 
Now, in terms of the reveal itself, there are going to be a number of pieces that Rockstar will likely be releasing at the same time. These include an official website for GTA 6, the official reveal trailer on YouTube, and also a blog post on their website. Now, in my opinion, the official website for the game is actually the most important because that's what it was with GTA 5. The website will likely contain more information on the setting of the game, the location, the areas within the map, and also some information about the characters and story. This is the same way it was with GTA 5, and I really hope Rockstar puts together a nice website for GTA 6, because the one for GTA 5 was actually super underrated, so we'll have to see what Rockstar does in regards to GTA 6, but it is worth noting that Rockstar did buy several domain names that have to do with GTA 6, ranging from GTA6.com, GTAVI.com, as well as a number of others, so Rockstar clearly has some website plans that we should keep an eye on. Now, in addition to the website, Rockstar will of course be releasing the official trailer for GTA 6. Now, this is really, really important for Rockstar because this is going to be our first ever look at the game, but it is worth noting that this is a first trailer, and if we take a look at what Rockstar has done in the past, the first trailers do give a little bit of information about what the game is about, but unfortunately, they do not tell the entire story. So there likely will not be any official gameplay or any kind of demos in this trailer, it is simply going to be a cinematic trailer giving us a little overview of where the game is going to take place, some of the main characters, and overall just give us an introduction into the setting and the ambiance of GTA 6. Now we pretty much know at this point with almost 100% confirmation that GTA 6 will be taking place in Vice City, known as Miami, Florida in real life, so it's really exciting to see how Rockstar has recreated Miami, Florida. I know that this has been a big project, they've been scouting Miami for a while now, so it's going to be really interesting to see how realistic it is, and my expectations are very high. Now my favorite thing about these video reveal trailers is that we're able to pick them apart frame by frame by really looking into the details of every single scene, and I cannot wait to do this as soon as it does release. It is worth noting that Rockstar is allegedly abandoning the three player system for single player in GTA 6, so they're likely going to transition back to a normal style of trailer where they're just showcasing one character instead of three like they did with GTA 5. Now alongside the official website and the official video reveal trailer, Rockstar will also be releasing a blog post. Now the blog post is mainly for media outlets and journalists, however usually this blog post does contain some minute details about the game that neither the website nor the trailer reveal, so it's honestly a good piece of context for us to review as well, so we're definitely going to be taking a look at that as soon as it releases to the public. It's also worth noting that Rockstar sometimes likes to do interviews with the press once the trailers release, however these usually come out a couple of days after the initial trailers, so we're going to keep an eye on those because that is what they did with Red Dead Redemption 2 and I believe also with GTA 5. So again, whenever GTA 6 is being revealed later this year, we are expecting three main things to be released. We have the official GTA 6 website, the official GTA 6 reveal video trailer, and then finally the blog post. Now it's very possible with Rockstar being Rockstar that they could throw something special into the mix, including some kind of crazy GTA 6 mobile app that contains virtual reality. Honestly, who knows with Rockstar, they are honestly one of the most unpredictable companies in the gaming industry, which makes covering them so fun. So it's very possible that they could throw a curveball at us, but based on what they have done in the past, this is exactly what we are expecting. Now in terms of when GTA 6 will be revealed, as I mentioned multiple times throughout this video, we are expecting it to be revealed later this year in 2021, however in terms of a month, a week, or a day, it is still very difficult to estimate at the moment. 
My personal prediction is going to be November, sometime in mid-November. However, we don't have any concrete information that has been revealed by leakers or insider sources thus far, but my personal prediction is going to be in Q4 2022, so towards the end of the year, but it's very possible that it could be coming a little sooner. It's worth noting that Rockstar was planning to reveal GTA 6 back in March 2020. That release or reveal ended up getting cut off and delayed due to some technical difficulties and differences in the game production, so it's very possible that they could be doing it this March, which means it is actually just around the corner, which would be really awesome. Nonetheless, the reveal is going to be exciting and really fun either way. This has been a long time coming with many people asking Rockstar on a daily basis when GTA 6 is coming, and hopefully our prayers and questions are going to be answered sooner rather than later. Again, my personal prediction at the moment is going to be in the later half or the last quarter of 2022, so sometime in November, but it's very possible that it could be coming sooner, sometime in March 2022. As always, as we do get closer to the reveal, we will likely start receiving more and more detailed information up until the reveal, so as we do get more information from insider sources and trustable people, I will make sure to keep you updated on the latest. But I definitely want to hear your thoughts in those comments down below regarding all of this. Based on everything that we have heard so far recently about the reveal of GTA 6, do you think it is actually coming later this year? Do you think it is coming sooner, sometime in March or maybe even earlier? Or do you think it is more than a year away, sometime in 2023 and possibly beyond? Let me know all your thoughts and predictions in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on the latest GTA 6 reveal news, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video as well as subscribe down below with those bell notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow where we did another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.